Now to anger surrounding the long delayed opening of the 9-11 Memorial Museum. Some victims' families are outraged about the admission price and gift shop at a museum housing human remains. ABC's Gio Benitez is there at Ground Zero for us this morning. Good morning, Gio. Good morning to you, Robin. Those remains are in a private room underground, but in the same building as that gift shop. And so this morning, some of the families tell me they are furious. This morning, the 9-11 Memorial Museum, set to open to the public this Friday, is at the center of an intense debate. Some 9-11 families pointing to the pricey coffee mugs, t-shirts, keychains, and stuffed animals sold in the gift shop inside. And they're upset about the museum's $24 entrance fee. Why? Because the museum also houses some 8,000 unidentified human remains from those terrorist attacks. So as long as that sort of tomb of the unknowns is there, you're not going to walk in. No, no I'm not going to walk in there. Jim Riches lost his 29-year-old son, a firefighter, in the 9-11 attacks. It took more than six months to find some of his son's remains. The rest, he believes, are unidentified and in that repository. My son's friends are going to have to pay $24 to go down and pay their respects. I think that's a disgrace. It's the only cemetery in the world where you have to pay a fee to get in. Another family, the Hornings, telling ABC News they are appalled by what they're calling greed and commercialism. I wouldn't expect such an intrusion at Arlington Cemetery or at the Pentagon Memorial or at any cemetery. Take the remains out of the museum and then I think there will be less opposition to the selling of the trinkets and the hats and the shirts. In a statement, museum representatives tell ABC News the museum receives no government funding and relies on private fundraising, gracious donations and revenue from ticketing and carefully selected keepsake items for retail. I donated my son's helmet down there, it was crushed. We want to see it do well. Let's never let it happen again. By the way, a lot of these items have been on sale for years here at an official gift shop here at the Memorial. The difference, the families say, is that now they are so close to those human remains. Robin George. Yeah, and you can understand the family's emotion.